Hi guys, today we're going to react to Color Out of Space by Ningen Isu. I read the lyrics and I kind of figured out what it is, but I didn't expect to enjoy the music so much. I knew what the subject matter was, but every time I listen to them, they keep surprising me. We've reacted to several of their songs and it always comes back to me, the fact that they are extremely underrated. I mean, they should blow up. They should be known worldwide. I've already made it clear several times that they are my absolute favorites. I can't help it. I just love their style and, you know, and what they bring. It just, it just hits me just, you know, in the right spot. Um, I get excited knowing we're going to do an episode and, and I'm going to hear another song and I can't wait till we cover, you know, a, a shitload of their stuff so I can just go and listen to albums. But so far, out of all the bands we've done, and there's some some really, really fantastic bands, Ningen Isu are my favorite. Just yeah. love them. They're, they're my top five, but yeah. And this is another H.P. Lovecraft inspired song. And truth be told, I'm not a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan. I'm a horror fan, but I like a different type of horror. I do like some of the stuff, but I'm not, you know, a diehard fan like most people who are into it. And still, Ningen is one of my favorites. It's very hard to explain, but I would have thought that if a band mainly concentrates on the topic that I'm not really that much into, I wouldn't be that much into the band, but makes no difference. I just love their music. Well, I share your horror preference. Mm -hmm. I'm also not too much into H.P. Lovecraft. I don't dislike his work. I just, I prefer other, yeah, other things. <laughs> Take it away. 
thing that I like so much about them is their intensity. They are just so intense and you feel it in the music, you see it, and also you see how much they love what they do. I know that they kind of play characters, the ghost and the Yakuza member and that sort of teacher kind of thing. But I feel that even more so, I guess, these guys are characters. You can see the wink and the tongue in cheek and whatever yeah. else comes in there. And also a lot of their lyrics, their songs have a lot of subtext in them. So they do have something to say about the world. I just really, really love everything about these guys. Indeed, you have a lot to choose what to enjoy when you experience one of their songs, whether it's the multi-layered lyrics and, and their performances and the way that they carry themselves. I love it how when you're performing live, then you communicate with the audience. And when you do it in a music video, the audience is the camera. But the lead singer, I don't know if he's communicating with the camera. It's like he's in his own mind, especially when he goes into chorus. He's in his own mind. He's almost not looking at the camera. He's like in a trance. And I love it. And that's a, a point of difference from the bass player who, who does yeah. flirt with the camera a lot. You know, yeah. he plays to the camera, uh, which, I, yeah. which I really like. gave us a really really strong gear changer i love it when they go down and everything goes down the energies go down and they go into this psychedelic session i love it yeah i think ning and isu are my happy place yeah i think that's why i like them so much it's just everything that they do in all kinds of different speeds and everything i like all of it they just make me happy my ears are just having a party every time yeah in my head it's not like they're performing it's like there's something much more complicated in all of us that's coming out of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I meant by it's evident that they love what they do. These are grown men. It's not like, a, you know, three kids in a band. Yeah. And you know, they've done this most of their lives and they still love it as much as they did on day one. And you've mentioned before many times how you like this kind of setup, you know, of a band with just bass player, guitarist and a drummer. Yes. Simple and to the point, but they get so much sound out of that. Just the three yeah. of them. Amazing. I got it.
freaking awesome. I haven't read H.P. Lovecraft's Color of the Space, which the song is based on, but I've seen the Nicolas Cage film that came out in the past few years. It came out as a horror film. It's about these aliens that descend upon Earth and start messing with people. And from the lyrics in Ninganis's song, they, they basically criticize the aliens for doing that, for being so evil and, and messing with people. And that's basically the entire song. If you look at it at face value, that's what they're doing. They're criticizing the aliens. And it kind of got me thinking, they have more layers in it. Who are they? criticizing they're criticizing someone or something but it can't be just hp lovecraft's aliens that would be lacking so it kind of got me thinking what are they criticizing what institution or person or persons are they criticizing that are damaging humanity the first place i went to was uh government as government comes seemingly in peace to its people you can think of a few governments that do that with promises that are more often than not shrouded in lies so that's where it took me it's specific lines that took me to where it took me but i thought that they are actually basically criticizing religion um and not necessarily your regular religions or whatever but maybe something more to do with cults and that type of thing and also in today's age of social media basically the people influencers you know who yeah. who have a following and it's it came came from lines like um they tell us this is ascension but in fact allude us to destruction pretending they are channeling a higher existence this whole higher existence thing it took me to religion and potentially cults and and stuff like that and then they say seduce us into breaking taboos whispering by telepathy and i thought that might actually be a reference to something like social media influences yeah. that kind of thing and knowing ninganisu in the past they usually have some deeper layers in their songs where they are giving us some sort of a criticism on on you know society and and the, yeah. the way the world is yeah i kind of like your interpretation because i don't know how well it's presented but even the title the color out of space it's something that's beautiful and shiny and, and mesmerizing and what you said about social media it, it kind of connects because the things that occupy us smartphones and whatever makes us addicted to this web of lies keeping our minds sedated it's shiny and it's pretty and it's engaging and it's perceivably interesting to keep us in submission i like that correlation i can relate to that but I do think that they kind of pepper the lyrics with hints as to other meanings. Um, and I think lines like outside of the morals on the edge of lunacy might refer to either, you know, social media or to politics, to governments or whatever. Because again, it's like what has happened with politics, uh, Trump and such. It feels like on the edge of lunacy, outside of the morals. It's kind of there. And again, there was another line that took me back to religion where it says laughing at our science. I would say that's exactly the line I'm looking at right now. To whomever read H.P. Lovecraft's story or, or whoever saw the film, the aliens that descend upon Earth and play with people, they're so advanced that they're in a position that they can laugh at our laws of physics or at our science. Because they're advanced, they can manipulate them, they can disregard them altogether. If Ninganissa are criticizing an institution uh, in the guise of criticizing H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's aliens, then it means something different. It's not that the laughing at our science, it correlates to what you said about religion, to me at least. Laughing at our science, that means that whatever institution is leading people on is counting on their emotions. They make people disregard common sense or logic or you know science and make them believe in something that has no foundation in science. There's a different meaning to the story and different meaning to their to their lyrics. Of, of societal criticism yeah and those uh, last few verses before the end also kind of took me again to the social media aspect shapeless beings nameless monsters invisible evils absolutely irredeemable and he talks about underworld and darkness and basically it all just made me think about keyboard warriors you know people who yeah. are faceless who do their damage from afar all the haters and such yeah it's possible that ninganissa didn't mean any of this but yeah. just the way it's written <laughs> yeah, and the way together. it comes out yeah. it just took me there so yeah. yeah, it's a very, very cool song. Yeah, something very grim about it. They call out the sinister aspect that is unignorable that these people have. It's not the same as to say hurt people hurt people. People are being mean because they themselves are hurt. They're saying something else. The powers at hand here are sinister in their nature. They want to harm other people. Mm. And again, just musically, this is uh, another banger and another just fantastic song. I love songs like that. I really do.
If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me a Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. Even the way he holds the bass guitar, the way he plays, it, it looks different. And it's interesting. He is exhibiting like speed that I rarely see basically in bass players of this kind of music. And she is just uh, on a whole other planet. Yeah, she was born to hold that guitar. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you more than you know. We'll see you in a couple of days with the new one. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now. Bye, guys.